Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. Well, today we are going to talk about men in the middle attacks. All right. For this, I'm going to use some machines here. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about ARP spoofing for ARP spoofing. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. We are going to use RP and Wireshark. And then we are going to use BetterCap later. All right. So first of all, let's pretend we just got inside a network. All right. We have now to scan the network to look for targets. So I'm going to use my own script in Python. I just did. Python 3, math.py. You can use the, your nmap, zenmap, or ngray p scanner, or any other scan, network scan, all right? 80.1 slash 24. Well, probably in seconds, I'm going to have some results. Yeah. So here I have all the devices on my network right now, all right? I have here my color machine, I have my Windows machine, I have my Meta Explorable machine, and I have my other computer, all right? And also I have this IP from this Ubuntu is 187 then. So we discovered the targets, all right? This 139 is my Windows machine. So I'm going to use my Windows as target, okay? To do that, I'm going to Kali, I'm going to open the terminal. Uh, if you don't know which interface, the in interface name in your Kali, just type efconfig, and then we have here, it's 80, okay? It's my interface. Probably if you have some wireless adapter, you're going to have uh, some kind of WLAN 0, W11, W12, or something like that. All right, uh, for connection, wired connection, we, I have each 80 so let's go clean the screen. Now, ARP, this video is for people who knows what ARP is, uh, uh, people who knows about virtualization, people who know about uh, switching, routing, network, all right? At least the basics, at least. So ARP spoof. I for interface, each 80, and then T for the targets. First, I have to tell to the access point, I am the client, so 192.168.80.139. Here I'm going to put uh, inserting the IP address from the target machine because I'm going to tell the access point I am the target, all right? So now I have to say two, and now I have to add the access point IP address 192.168.80.2. Done. Now, if I press enter, it's going to start, All right? Let me open the another one because now I need to tell to the target I am the access point. So ARP is spoof, I each eight zero, and then target 192.168.8.2 and then 192.168.180.139 perfect now what we have to do now is we have to let's check the windows we have no connection here anymore because all the traffic, all the data is passing to through Oracle Linux machine. Uh, my Kali is not an access point, so my target will not have internet connection. To do that, we need to do an IP forwarding. Right, so let me just check here, just for you guys to see, there is no internet connection at all. You guys can check here, no internet access. So to do that, I'm going to open a new tab and then echo one new space proc C 
six and then now net right ipv4 and now we need to say ip forward done all the flow from this internet connections is going to pass between the other flow from the internet from the access point and the target machine is going to pass through Orca Linux so we are able to to in, uh, intercept all the traffic okay so let's check again here I already have internet connection right let's do it all right it's working right now just for us to see let me open the white shark white shark so I'm going to select my interface 880 then it started already all right so let's try to do something like FTP FTP oops CMD um, so now we are going to the FTP 192.168.80.144 this is my meta exploitable machine. Let's press enter. Now MSF admin. Alright. MSF admin. Login successful. If we come here to the Wireshark and just filter as FTP data, we have the message pass admin user admin msf admin and pass msf admin all right so it's working okay let's try in some in this website uh as well detail this technique works only in http websites all right like hp websites if there is s for secure will not work with this we have to use another um, another script in better cap uh, with a high a high jack something i forgot the name now right but i will make another video talking about it so any website with this kind of traffic uh when kind any website with this kind of connection http that has a lot over the internet uh we are going to be able to capture the data okay so let's put this admin admin here i don't know if there are any user as admin probably yeah done now let's go to check http connection right uh, i have the website canonical website ATP response uh, and somewhere here have to have the <coughs> sorry uh, the data 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 let me see something here where is it I have the login page yeah Transmission. Let me check the get. Right. Uh, Windows. Blah 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 blah. Login PHP. So let's see. Here. Admin. 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 I have to find this is a little bit. Um, Castive, like uh, it's harder to look for. I don't use too much uh, wild shark, so I don't know the two, right? But let's try to find out. It works, all right, because I tried before, I tried in the network, so yeah, it works well, but where? Let me see something here. Action dash value. 
so yeah it's not going to filter uh, or no content response let's see I know there are some possibilities to check it right but let I'm not finding right now the right way to do that content length no post secure info here all right admin epa pass so here user info php always looking for post or something like that post yeah will not work but um http post and then here we have your name admin username admin and pass admin all right this is a little bit harder to work i'm going to show you guys how to use better cap instead of it rp arp all right uh so let's stop this close this really without saving well this is the way using arp spoof right so here you have another way to do that Control L, all right. All right. So let me see. All right. Um, if we still have a network, yeah, we still have a network. So now I'm going to say better cap. I face if I'm not wrong about that. I face yeah, it's H zero and it's done done uh if you don't know how to use better cap just type help uh here we have the modules right what's running and what is not running uh to activate the ar spoof we need first to activate net probe and then it's going automatically activate net recon right so um, net dot probe on if I'm not wrong about it yeah now if we just type help again you guys can check net probe and net recon are activated because when you probe we have to make a recon so the next step is the AR spoof right so AR uh, help AR spoof. Here we have the modules inside AR spoof. So we have AR spoof duplex. If true, the tar both the targets and the gateway will be attacked. It means like if we use the full duplex, we are going to attack the target and the gateway. All right. So let's set this set arp.spoof.full duplex on true. Sorry, done. It's true. It's on. Now we have to arp spoof the targets by arp.spoof.targets. This we have to set up the, our targets. We can use a comma to separate and attack more than one machine. But here we are going to attack just one of them, 80.139. Oh, to set. Yeah, set the herbs proof, done. Now help, uh, we have to sniff right with the net dot isnif so um net dot is nif on done and now let's try see something help net dot is nif all right let's let's leave just like that Let's try to navigate somewhere right now. Uh, close it. Open again. See all the color. 
you see it's already sniffing all the traffic okay it's already sniffing so uh, let me just maximize done uh vulnerabilities Vun PHP. Oh yeah. This is for my SQL connections. Home. Login, login, login. Login PHP. Alright. So I'm using Obelix 123456 password. Login. Well, looks like apparently nothing happened here, but here we got some info, probably. Let me just find out where is it now. Digiser, Digiser, success, right. Okay, let's go down, 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 down. Uh, we got some. Info. Where is it? Looking okay. What? Here, guys. Sorry, I'm a little bit blind even using my glasses. So, here, username Obelix, and then pass one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, it's working. And let's close this and try it with FTP. CMD FTP 192.168.80.144 um, MSF admin MSF admin All right also looks like nothing happened we got no errors so let's try this if it work yeah probably with FTP it doesn't work Okay, but with any HHS, a HTTP website, we work, right? I'm not going to look for websites here, HTTP websites, but it's working, right? So better cap, it's better because you don't have to use like a Wireshark, you don't have to waste too much time looking for, um, oh yeah, it worked on FTP here, just here. On the bottom you see user msf admin and pass msf admin sorry guys but still uh it works so i i prefer better cap because you don't have to to open two programs or more right of course uh the person who works with cyber security uh can't be lazy to work with it programming network uh, you cannot be lazy, a lazy person. You have to study, you have to write your own code, you have to learn programming language, you have to learn more about networking and stuff like that. So, um, I prefer to use because more clear for me because it sends to me in colors, see, with different colors, all right, and bold also, so I can see better, okay, and that's all, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, uh, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and just tell your friends, let them know that if the content is good or not. Thank you. See you guys in the next video.